Yeah, what so are you representing, what, dude? It's a high school. High school. Back home. Hometown repping. Uh, what what do you remember about Yuli and where you're raised and what maybe why is it so important to you that you're repping here today? Uh, this is my hometown where I grew up. Um, my all my family's there, friends. This is home. Do you play there? Do you have the same list of ticket requests? Is just they get them every year, or do you have some new ones that pop on the list from time to time? There's always a lot. There's always a lot. So I try to get out of the way as quick as can. As quick as I can, so I ain't got to worry about it later during the week. Has it grown over the last two, three years? That ticket list? Uh, it it varies. With the pandemic, it you know it's kind of kind of hard, but it's still a lot of requests. So I'll try to get it out of the way. You play there so many times now, but is there, is there something special about going back there to play? Uh, you know, for you, or is it is it just another game at this point? Uh, it's always fun and um, special when, you know, all my family can come watch me, you know, having that home home presence again, being back home and, you know, just, just really just having my family there and, you know, having them watch me play is, is always nice. Who, who got you that? Uh, somebody custom make that one for you? Or? I, I got sitting this a while back and, you know, just looking in the closet, I was like, I should, I should wish it was a good time to wear it now, so I just wore it today. Will do well. What, what kind of jumps out on tape with their defense? Um, I think they uh, play hard really against the run. Um, I think they played a really good game against uh, Cincinnati. You know, especially in that first half, of just just stopping the run, um, being very physical, um, getting to the ball. I got a lot of new guys. You know, that play very well in that system. So you know, I think they just you know take pride on stopping the run and doing things well. You know to you know, make sure no explosive plays happen at all in the run game. Is there anything you're doing different this year just as far as, like, the recovery process with the – I know the workload is something <laughs> you kind of lay off, but is there anything that you're doing different just to be able to recover from that workload? No, I'm really just doing the same things and um, keeping my body ready. Uh, I haven't really changed up too much and just continue, continue those same things. You guys be quiet, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How does your routine go? Like, is there a lot of like hot tub, cold tub, that, that type? Of thing? Cold tub, hot tub, massage, ART, um, dry needling, um, cryo. The, the, the whole nine. Anything I can do to get my body ready, I'm going to try it. Where do you get like the, the ideas to, to do? Like, cold tub, that's general. Like, everybody mm -hmm. does that. But some of the other things you mentioned are kind of unique. Yeah, really, um, you know, this asking. Asking guys, uh, meeting people, and then you know my younger days asking the vets, the guys that played at high level, what they did to keep their body ready, and just soaking that all up, and you know, kind of putting it into what you know I do as far as my recovery process. Was there anything like crazy that that you got from uh, advice wise, like something crazy that they told you to do? And you're like, nah, man. No yeah, I got I got a couple of crap I won't mention, but yeah, I did. So. <laughs> carries or whatever what's what's the thing on your body that you feel like you're most kind of recovering it maybe takes a couple of days because there, there's so much that goes into that but is it the legs is it the um, um I just make sure you know I feel good enough to be able to pick my daughter up my daughter up in the morning yeah. when she gets up so that's <laughs> that's my main thing but yeah I mean I mean you, you you're I mean you're sore all over you know especially in our position because you know you take so many hits but like you said, just about the recovery process, getting your body back under you, so you can come out here and um, do it again. There's been some times this season, Derek. Do you think that you've run even more physical than you have in the past in terms of maybe hitting guys, you know, lowering the shoulder, you know, lowering the the pads, that kind of thing? It seems like maybe there's been a little bit more. I didn't didn't know if that was the case or. Um, you know, just you know, just I think me, me just trying to finish runs. Um. I know you kind of switch it up for a little bit. Everybody expecting a stiff arm and you lower the shoulder. Maybe you, you know, push a little bit forward and you know get somewhere out of that play. But trying to switch it up as, as much as I can. You know, everybody's ready to break the stiff arm down. So, is it hard for I mean a guy your height to lower the pad sometimes? And you know when DBs are going low for you, it can get a little skinny in there, especially when they're knifing in. I can't. I can only bend so much going between the line. But try to get as low as I can to uh, to move the power forward. You guys feeling a sense of urgency coming off a loss, going on the road playing a divisional opponent this week? Um, I think it's just uh, you know, focus on the things we need to focus on. 
um, you know, uh, continue to get better uh, as the week goes on, um, carrying into uh, Jacksonville on Sunday's division game, you know, which is all, always a big game for us. And, you know, just playing that style of football and, you know, going out there and trying to go win the game. You guys lose a game, sort of off John's question. Is there an attitude of, hey, let's have a sense of urgency, we lost, or, or is that not even spoken because you feel like you have to have that every week? Yeah, because, I mean, of course, because you, you you know you want to be better, so it, you, you kind of have that have to have that sense of urgency of uh, wanting to be better, uh, wanting more um, on, on, on all three phases. And if you don't, then, you know, what, what are you in this business for? So I know a lot of guys, you know, you know, take that challenge of, you know, having a sense of urgency, wanting to get in the drives, wanting to finish, wanting to be better, and all the things that we need to be better at. And um, that just has been the main focus point. Is that a week, week by week thing, like every week, or is that something that gets bigger after a loss? Oh, week by week, you know, you never want to, you know, stay the same. Um, even if you do good or bad, you always focus on what can what can I improve on? What can I do that I didn't do um, the last week? What, what can I be better at, even if it's good or even if it's bad? Just focus on improving in, in every aspect of your game as a team, as collectively, and I think a lot of guys do that every day. How much does it help you in the running game in general, Derek, when, when the passing game is working well, when you're getting some downfield shots and kind of keeping things balanced, I guess? Yeah, it's always fun when everything's clicking. And you know, we got, you know, the offense going, you know, and um, we're getting the drives, finishing drives with points. You know, it's always fun. I think everybody can see it. We all can feel it. Nice to see McNichols kind of get things going. And in the last game, it helps out a lot, especially in that receiving game, which you guys both have uh, racked up some, some numbers there. Yeah, he was balling. Um, he took advantage of his opportunities, and um, I wait to see what he does this game too.